slightly different video for you because I've been getting comments here and there um, all throughout my coloring experience and also um, a lot lately um, on Instagram especially um, and I just wanted to sort of address those feelings and comments because um, I really feel like it's important to me. I feel very strongly about this. So I'm going to make a disclaimer, a general blanket statement. This video is purely my opinion. So if you disagree with me, please do not be offended. Um, but I just feel um, it very, very strongly about what I'm about to say. So um, yeah, I just I kind of want to get it out there. So um, there have been some comments about pages, um, about coloring pages and about people um, concern about messing things up or, um, you know, uh, the one term somebody used was, I don't want to ruin you, uh, a page. And, uh, I just wanted to sort of like go over, um, my art background and my journey a little bit so that you kind of better understand, uh, the place I'm coming from. And also, um, just address those comments um, in a mo more open format so that uh, you guys get a better idea of my feelings about this subject. So first I'm going to go through my art background a little bit. Um, I started drawing when I was six or seven years old. Um, I really start I really loved it. I enjoyed it. I, I was coloring with like crayons and stuff. I actually covered the walls of my childhood home with crayon when I was like three years old. Um, to the delight of my mother who had to clean it all up. But, um, as far as like, you know, my, my journey, um, I went through years and years of practicing draftsmanship and, um, I drew so many random silly things. Um, so I have drawings of like piles of junk. I have drawings of crumpled paper bags. I have drawings of my shoes. I have drawings of bicycle parts. Just whatever I could find I drew. Um, and so um, I have a lot of stupid art. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, all of those you know, exercises or practices is what allowed me to learn how to see and interpret what I see and then put it on the paper. So even though um, maybe one piece of work that you do, whether it be a coloring page or a drawing or whatever, maybe that's not the best in the world. But if you learn something from it and if you got something out of the experience, even if you're not quite sure what it is, then it's a totally valid exercise and you should not feel bad at all if it doesn't turn out great because it doesn't matter. You don't have to show everybody everything you do. I have a lot of pages and, and I've only been coloring for like just under six months. I have a lot of pages uh, that are terrible that I would never show you guys except that I'm going to show you two today um, just because I want you to get a understanding that I experiment, I've messed up pages, and I don't get, I don't get down on it. I don't, it doesn't bother me that I mess them up. I learned something throughout the process, and I really enjoyed it anyway. Um, even if I was a little bit disappointed in the result, um, you just, you know, brush that off and move on and say, hey, I learned something, and I won't do that again, and, um, you know, next time will be better. So art is really a journey. It is not a destination. You're not going to get good at art overnight. No matter what kind of art you do, it is a lifetime, um, lifelong lesson. It's, it's really something that's very complex, difficult, and hard to achieve, and yet at the same time so very rewarding when you figure something out. And I'm sure you've experienced that a little bit, at least, um, as you've uh, colored. So, um, I just want to emphasize that, um, we are all human beings. We all make mistakes. We're all unique and individual and, and, and our journeys and our processes and, and how we learn are going to be different. 
but that's okay. That's what makes it so interesting and fascinating. Um, when I see, you know, the same page that I've done, done by a different person, and they've interpreted it completely differently, it just blows my mind. It's like, oh, I never thought of that, but that's so cool. So don't, don't compare yourself. Don't, well, I'll get into that later, but let me stick with this first. So, so, um, all throughout my life, I've studied and practiced art. So when I was younger, I, um, I learned how to draw using things like charcoal, chalk pastel. Um, I would take life drawing classes. I took seven life drawing classes before I uh, graduated high school. Um, I also took an anatomy class, which was so gross, but very instructive. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't want to, I'm struggling with my words because I don't want to discourage you. But at the same time, I, I want you to understand that I am not a natural talent. I came into coloring with a lot of experience and background. Uh, at this point in my life, I feel like I am starting to really, um, everything is starting to really gel with me and I'm starting to really uh, push forward in my own personal work. Um, something that I haven't really revealed, but I'm really super excited about is that I've just finished writing, um, a very nice, I'm sure it's not my final draft, but a very nice draft of my first ever manuscript for a children's book. And I'm really excited about, um, that whole discovery process and learning how to draw, uh, for children and also for the adults that read to the children. Um, so, uh, you know, I am still learning and evolving and experimenting and pushing myself and trying new things and um, both in my coloring and also in my original artwork. So um, even though you may look at my stuff and say, wow, she's good, you know, I'm not done. I'm, I'm going to keep improving till I die. And hopefully that will be um, not too uh, soon. <laughs> so I have a long way to go. Um, so I want you to know that it is okay and you don't have to feel pressure to be good at something right away. Um, take your time, enjoy it. And, and I mean, you know, if you want to learn, then obviously that's why I'm here. I want to help you guys out. I figure, you know, I have all this background that can help you. But, um, and, and so, you know, learning quickly is always fun because then you see your progress and you're so excited and you just keep, it's like a, it's like a, like it just self-serves. It just, the fire just burns even brighter and you just keep learning and learning and learning faster. Um, so that's also fun too. So if you like doing that and you're really, really focused on improvement and, um, trying to get better, then that's great. And, and I'm not trying to dissuade people from doing that either, but what I'm trying to say is that. Don't hurt yourself over it. Don't be hard on yourself if you make a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all human, like I said. So, um, yeah. So, okay, I'm done with that rant, that part of my rant. Um, and I'm actually right now going to show you two of the mistakes I made and explain why I am proud of those mistakes and why I'm going to show them to you. I've, I have many pages which I have not shown people. And that's okay, you don't have to show us everything either. Uh, but, um, okay, so here's one page. So I am a painter mostly. Before I came into coloring, I uh, was using acrylic paint, and that's because I developed an allergy to oil paint, there's this whole thing. But anyway, I'm an acrylic painter, mostly. I do a lot of other mediums. I do digital, encaustic wax, airbrush, you know, but, um, the, the place where I really feel like I gel all the time is with acrylic paint. So, um, I wanted to try painting in my books since I love it so much. I mean, it makes sense, right? So, uh, <laughs> this is one of the first ever acrylic paintings that I did in my Joanna Basford Lost Ocean book. So this was a background that I was hoping would turn out a lot better than it did. You see this? Oh, so yucky. And what I was trying to do, I was trying to see if I can show it on the camera is I was trying to make a blue background that covered most of the line art but still showed through and here's a place where it was sort of successful but didn't really work 
um, where you can kind of see the line mark, but not really. But most of the page was completely obliterated by the paint because I used too much of it. It was too thick. Um, I didn't water it down enough, and um, so that was the result. Bummer. Uh, I liked that page, so I was kind of bummed, but I chalked it up to a learning experience, and I was like, yeah, I'll move on. So, and then another page I want to show you, because I was experimenting a lot in this book, um, this this Lost Ocean book is my first book, and so I, where is it? I'm looking for it. Um, so I did a lot of things that um, weren't great, but, uh, you know, those, those experiments and those um, mess ups or failures, if you want to call it that, uh, really allowed me to learn what I needed to know. Oh, of course, it's the very next page. Um, allowed me to learn what I needed to know to then do a successful acrylic painting in my Sager Och Sogner, uh, Emily Lindahl Hull Oberg page. And, um, I can, I can show you that, uh, some other time. But anyway, or actually you can see it in my, uh, coloring book video I just did. So this page is another page where I used acrylic paint, you can see. Um, and <clears throat> it wasn't... It, it didn't turn out, it wasn't the right color, first of all, and it, the, the way that the paper was taking the paint wasn't quite right, um, and I realized that this Lost Ocean book just really wasn't meant for acrylic paint, so that's why I stopped even trying to use this paper to, um, do acrylics, and I, and then I transferred over to just using, like, colored pencil, like this page here. Um, so, you know, you can... You can mess up pages and, and experiment and try new things, and um, that's how you grow. So I do it too. I just don't show you guys because I don't want to. Um, but you're seeing my best work. You're not seeing all of my work. So keep that in mind. Um, every single artist makes mistakes. So if you're making a mistake, just don't worry. Uh, we're... We're not going to judge you for it, and you don't have to show us. So, um, okay. Then the next bit of my rant is um, relating to competition and to comparison, which I really, um, again, feel very strongly about. Um, I get that people are competitive. Um, we're all coloring the same pages, so it's sort of a natural thing to want to be the best, I guess. Um, and I've had people tell me, oh, this is the best interpretation of this page. And that kind of makes me feel bad, actually. Um, I don't want you to compare me to other people. And I, I don't want other people to compare themselves to me either. And the reason why is because I have so much um, experience and background, it's not really a fair comparison, first of all. And secondly, um, you know, that's, at least in my mind, that's not really the point of coloring. Um... The point of coloring for me is to have a safe space to learn and grow and have fun and just express myself. Um, so I pick pages that I love and I color them how I want and that's it. I'm not looking at anybody else's coloring while I'm coloring. I'm not comparing myself to them as I'm coloring. In fact, most of the time I'm sitting in my pajamas in front of the television with my kitty cat in my lap and my coloring to the side and I am just having a ball, not even, like, the rest of the world is totally gone for me. I'm just in my own little happy little art bubble and that's why I love it. Um, you can't, you can't compare yourself to other people. And the reason why is because every single person is different. You don't know where that person is on their uh, art journey experience. You don't know how long they've had to, to do their work. And you don't know um, what they've been through and uh, what failures they've had, right? So instead, I want you guys to compare yourselves to yourself. And what I mean by that is look at your very first coloring pages. Look at them really hard and, and see... Did I, did I improve? Compare them to your latest works. Look at how uh, you handled color. Look at how you handled shading. Look at how you handled even laying the, the color down on the page. Does it look better? Is it more um, smooth or consistent or whatever uh, you're, you were going for? 
Um, if, if you say yes to any of those things, then you should be so happy and proud. You should be like, yes, I've done better. And that means that you'll keep doing better. And if you keep doing better, then as long as you don't give up, just don't stop. You can be just as good, better than me. Um, and uh, I know I just made a comparison there, but it's just to prove a point that um, I I don't I don't want you to compare. I don't know how to explain this. Um, I don't want to offend anybody. That's why I'm kind of stumbling over my words. But um, there's no comparison, right? We're all unique. We're all different. And uh, the people that make a competition out of it, I think it kind of takes a little bit of the fun out of it because then uh, you start to feel bad. You know, like um, somebody told me that um, they didn't want to color a page because they liked mine and they could never do better. And I was like, oh, it's just, oh, it just goes right to my heart. Like, I'm like, I just discouraged somebody from coloring. Like, that's the last thing I want to do. Oh, so guys guys, no, don't do it. Don't compare yourself because it's not going to make you feel good. If you're better than somebody, that's not really going to make you feel good either, at least in my mind, because I, I don't really care about that. I, all I care about is progression and getting better myself. And when I see other people improve, right, like I make nice comments to people and they go, oh, why are you saying that? Like, it's not good. And I just, I don't agree. What I see is the potential. What I see is that I look at their older stuff and I go, wow, they've, they've learned this in such a short amount of time. And it's impressive to me because it took me so long to learn some things. And I struggled through a lot of art uh, trying to figure out how to draw and how you know, how, how color works and all that. It took me a long, long, long time. And you guys, you're improving way faster than me. So if anything, you should be proud of yourselves. So um, yeah, don't compare yourself to other people. And don't worry about perfection, guys. It's, it's coloring. We're just here to have fun. So um, sorry about the long rant. I just, I feel, obviously, I feel really, really strongly about this. And I just wanted to address it. Um, and I really appreciate you taking the time out to listen to me ramble. Also, um, a happy announcement is that, um, I'm going to be hosting a live stream tomorrow right here on this channel from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think that's GMT negative five. I, I don't know. Anyway, you can do the conversion with Google. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll be coloring the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly spread. Um, oh, it's over there. I'm going to be coloring those uh, pages. And the page that, um, the place where I'm going to focus my time on tomorrow is on those little mushroom huts that are in the corner on that side. And I, I have done one as an example. So you can look at the last Inky Ivy live stream I did um, and check that out. Um, but I'm going to uh, continue that little spot and make a couple more little cute mushroom houses. So if that's something that you're interested in learning, um